guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So the Southeast Game Exchange was insane. I found some of the best items that I've ever seen. And I even scored so much stuff. So today I'm just going to go ahead and give a little bit of a recap and show off some of the amazing scores that I picked up. But not one of the largest ones because I'm still trying to figure out how to get that here. So let's just jump into it. So for anyone who does not know, the Southeast Game Exchange is a video game convention that's put on once a year in South Carolina. This is one of the largest and the best in the South. So I have been going for three years now and Austin who puts on this convention does an amazing job. This is not like any of those other terrible conventions that I've been to before. I won't name names, but there are some where the prices are insane to get in. Some of the games are just way too expensive and people just aren't willing to make deals. Well, not here. At this video game convention, it's really like a great community. People want to see these items go. They want to make deals. They want to show some of their amazing stuff. And it's just a great experience for everyone who is there. So we'll just jump into it. Some of the awesome things that I found were some of the store displays and some of these like weird promotional items that you just don't see anywhere else. So first of all, I actually saw this like hanging up on the walls. Now it was like taped up. But for $20, I cannot pass up this original Twisted Metal 4 PlayStation display for this awesome video game. This is Twisted Metal 4, an amazing, you know, video game franchise. All of these classic characters. I just absolutely love this. And then the best part would probably be this side because it's like magnified. And I just love having like Sweet Tooth there. It's just really a blast anytime that I play this entire series. Now I can add this poster, which is a little bit beat up, but for $20, once you put it in a frame, you wouldn't even be able to tell. So this is such a cool little promotional item, just a really cool poster that I never see and I have never seen before. So I'm really excited to add that into the collection. So when I saw this sitting at a booth, it was kind of like stacked between posters and some other things. But right here we have this topper for Donkey Konga. So this is a really cool like promotional item that would have went to some sort of like kiosk. So you would have had this around the TV part. So you would have this Donkey Konga game and then this would kind of like sit right on top. So this is actually really cool and I've never seen it before. It says, is the rhythm in you Donkey Konga? This is for the Nintendo GameCube. You have the bongos going, you have Donkey Kong on there. This is just a blast and I just had to score it, but that was not all because they had two of them. So this is the game that I definitely spent a lot of time playing. So here we have Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. So this is another like cool piece. I believe it has like magnets or like something on it so that you could go ahead and just like hook it around the television. And then you have this Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Of course we have Donkey Kong himself right there. So these are some really cool like promotional items. It says Bongo Pounding Adventure. You have all these cool like images, different, you know, Donkey Kong people on there, just the cool characters. So that is something that I had never seen before. I'll have to do some research. Maybe I could put it around the TV or around like the kiosk that I already own for the Nintendo GameCube. But these are just items that you don't see. And then also from the same exact booth right here, Overstock Collectibles. They have some of this information about them. They actually had some more promo items. We have this Dreamcast, four of these Dreamcast little you know, display boxes that they would have put together. So this right here is Donald Duck going quackers. So these are never been used, never been used like new old stock of this Dreamcast game. We even have this test drive V rally. So this one's pretty cool. Now these would just like fold into like a regular box. We have iron aces, high speed World war two aerial combat. And then we even have Demolition Racer No Exit. So this is a game that I definitely played on the Dreamcast. And I love how it shows you like the front and the back of the game. So these would have been displayed before the game actually came out to go ahead and help promote that. But you never see like Dreamcast stuff. And to find Dreamcast, GameCube, PlayStation, like it's just wild already. 
And then I met some really cool people who actually gave me some things. So of course, when you're on social media, you follow tons of people and you just actually get to meet up with these awesome people that you follow their content. You know, they reach out to you and then someone actually gave me all of this Mario movie promotional stuff. So right here we have the Super Mario Brothers movie. We have quite a few of these posters that I'll have to get framed up. We have this cool bag. So here we have Mario. We have this whole like Mushroom Kingdom. So this is really cool to see. Even this Luigi hat for the Super Mario Brothers movie. So this is some cool like, you know, Nintendo promotional stuff that they were just giving away. This right here, it says Super Mario Brothers movie button badges times four. So if you open this up, you'll see some of the cool little, you know, buttons of the main characters in the movie. So you have Princess Peach, Toad, Mario, and Luigi. So that's really cool to see. And then you have this, which are some sticker sheets. So this is really cool as well, just to see like a mixture of all the different characters from the movie. So just some cool little promotional items. And that was not all that they hooked me up with either. So I got this cool little limited run bag along with some goodies. And one of my favorites that I actually got is this right here. So this is a cool tray that is for the Nintendo Game Boy. And this would actually sit in one of those cases for the system. You would put all of the games in here. And of course it would just kind of like hold them in place. But they also gave some more stuff. So I just want to shout them out, Riley Retro Gamers. So if you're ever in the North Carolina area and you're at all of these different conventions and events, they're always there. They have different pop-ups and different things like that. So you guys definitely want to check them out. And they're my buddies. So they gave me some cool limited run bags from the opening that they had. They even gave me a couple of these limited run games. So I'm pretty excited to try these out. We have the amazing Penguin. So this is when limited run went through kind of re-release some of these games into the physical media. Definitely some of the ones that are more pricey. Then we have Spanky's Quest. So that's really cool to see. And then they even threw in these. So because in my panel, I mentioned that I liked Nickelodeon, they threw in this Game Boy Advance video. So Nickelodeon, The Fairly Odd Parents, Volume 1. And then we have this Nicktoons Collection, Volume 1. We have all grown up. SpongeBob SquarePants and the Fairly Odd Parents. So these are really cool, these Game Boy Advance videos. And this one's actually still sealed, along with some of the limited run games. So that was just shocking. I did not expect anyone to just, you know, give something over. That was really cool of them. Someone actually gave this to me at my panel. <laughs> and that was a really cool thing. So definitely don't have this. Don't have it sealed. This is a PlayStation portable, so a PSP game but it's more of a movie that you get to watch and then i ran into my buddy so many people actually but he gave me this cool little dust sleeve so this is drinking games with josh and this is really cool it says it's always happy hour let's get social so it has all of his information he gave me some cool stickers so i definitely appreciate that because along with meeting up with everyone that is probably one of my favorite parts so make sure you guys stay tuned for a cool little collab video that I did where I got to just talk to some other people at the convention. There were probably like 40 or 50 YouTubers there and just across all the different, you know, subscriber counts and everything else. People that have been doing this for over 10 years, people have been doing this, you know, a short time. It was really such an amazing experience. That is probably like my favorite part about these conventions is just getting to meet up with everyone, you know, say hi, check in, see what everyone else is going for, what they're collecting, what they're looking for at these game conventions, seeing all of like the cool finds and just like the overall interaction. So I was able to get there a few days early. Then the event kicked off by having like this whole like, you know, pre-convention show at a cool arcade bar. So that was definitely a blast. I had such a fun time there. Everything, you just pay one set price. You get to go in, you get to drink, you get to, you know, have fun, experience everything with everyone, you know, play some games, play some arcade games, play some pinball machines, and then listen to the cool band that they had who did some like cool video game renditions of things. And they just kicked it off. Then you're just standing around, you know, talking outside, just having a blast. 
you know, exploring the different areas like the toy store that was really cool, video game store, and then just seeing all of these awesome vendors at the convention. Having this whole panel was really cool. That was definitely a blast, although I forgot to hit record, so don't really have a lot of that footage from the actual panel room. But that was really a blast as the entire room was packed. People were standing up in the back. I did not expect that at all. You know, just seeing everyone come together, be a part of this community. And that's really what makes these conventions what they are. And that's not all that I got either. So I picked up all of this. Here is a cool PlayStation, you know, little promo pin. I got this for like a dollar. Fisherman's Bait 2, Big old Bass. So right here, this cool little promotional pin. And then all of these I saw as I was doing my first round around the convention. And I got these all, I think, for like five bucks each, or I might have got one free. So these are the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We have the whole set here, it looks like, of these like little balls. So these are things that I think I remember having as a kid when I used to collect them. But to have them for all the different rangers, we have the red, we have the yellow, the pink ranger, which I feel like I have the pink ranger, the blue ranger. And all of these are still sealed in their like blister packs. And then even this one right here. So another one of these like softballs, we have the Black Ranger. So I just had to add a mixture of toys, video games, displays, and so much more. I also scored tons of Super Nintendo games. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that series as I'll have to kind of walk you through one of the game stores that I went through and then the overall convention experience finding some more Super Nintendo games to go ahead and complete my set. But overall, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who was there, who gave me some cool items, who wanted to meet up, who came to my panel, all of my awesome YouTuber friends, you guys rock, and Austin, who puts on this amazing convention. This is really a convention that you guys have to go to. It's my first convention, and it will not be my last time going there either. So everything is great. Everything is like bigger and better in the South. <laughs> Make sure you guys remember that because I have something really cool coming. Not sure where it's going to go yet. Not sure how I'm getting it here, but I got it. And I can't wait until it shows up somewhere in the game room or in a new game room or something. But you guys will have to stay tuned for that. Let me know what your favorites were. Was it the GameCube displays, the PlayStation displays, promo items, the Dream Castle promotional items, the Power Ranger stuff, the Nickelodeon stuff, all of these games, Super Mario Brothers movie. Let me know. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.